anybody else have spring fever? Catch it. Yeah. I always thought it was just allergies. Well, I have that too right now, <laughs> yeah. unfortunately, but it's just made me like, all right, when's Derby? When's Keeneland? Let's get this rolling. Yeah. A month and two months. Yeah. So there, there we go. <laughs> and there's a lot of weather between now and then. So let's, let's talk about all this. And by the way, if you are suffering with the allergies, juniper is your primary pollen at the moment. So uh, the evergreen trees are getting you. Uh, Lexington Financial Center. So we've got that thin overcast that's been around, kind of a milky gray look to the sky for a better part of the afternoon. Warmth is coming on some strong southwesterly winds tomorrow. We get another round of heavy rain coming in here as we head into well, the latter part of your weekend. And there is winter in the eight day. Uh, 56 at the Bluegrass Airport after a high today of 59. Northeast wind at 8, so we're pulling in still some chillier air than we would like to see. Uh, northeast wind at 8, again, has a falling barometer, 30, 26. So there is cold air and still plenty of it. And just not quite as extreme as yesterday. Uh, 20s and 30s to our north. 70s to our south and you can see the clash zones that are set up uh, especially out just to our west also to our north uh, across the tennessee valley southerly winds nashville's in the 70s northerly winds central ohio columbus is in the 40s as we look around kentucky we've got well 50 there at uh, alexandria and get to whitley city it's only 70 or is 70 so we've got, we've got a 20 degree swing across the state pretty impressive southerly winds here Northerly winds there and you see the temperature difference. So meteorologically it all adds up now tomorrow afternoon. You are looking at the temperatures that are soaring all the way up to the southern lakes. Uh, Chicago into the 60s. Parts of Michigan likely in that same uh, realm, but Detroit not quite that warm. So there's your front. Uh, we're in the 70s out here to the west. Again, you see the, the contrast with that storm that's out there as we're talking our high temperatures for tomorrow. Low 70s are a really nice thing. Lawrenceburg at 71, Carlisle 72, Lancaster 72. We have a 71 in Frenchburg, 73 out of Owingsville tomorrow. Same in Mount Sterling. 73 out of Barberville. Same in Hyden. 74 in Jackson. Same in Boonville. 74 in Somerset. 71 Whitley City. How about Liberty checking in at 72 tomorrow afternoon? Rain chances will be increasing through the weekend. That rain could become heavy late Sunday, Sunday night into Monday. Flood risk is going to be there, but it's a little more to the west, but we still at least have that marginal chance of seeing flooding rainfall just because you know, we've seen so much rain. Now through Sunday, rainfall is decent, but not over the top, but continues Sunday night into Monday. By the time it's all done, we could be looking at about a one to three inch rain around the area. So here's the setup. We've got a warm front cutting across the area now. It showed up vividly there in those temperature displays for you. That works north tomorrow. All those isobars, that means the winds are, you know, the air is being compressed. The winds pick up. There'll be southwest winds. They will be warm as this system cranks out here to our north and west. As we get you on into Sunday, now your rain chances begin even in the morning. That will last then off and on into the afternoon. Some of that rain will be locally heavy, and then this wave will come by as we go through Sunday night and Monday. Southwest winds, terrific. Terrific warm weekend, normal chill as we get you into the first of the week. And then as we head toward next weekend, there looks to be a dump of some Arctic air centered right toward us. So get ready. It's going to get cold again, but not tonight. Partly cloudy, upper 40s. Your day tomorrow, partly sunny, windy and warm, not record territory. I don't think there'll be complaints with low and mid 70s. 70 showers and thunderstorms likely on Sunday and Monday. Most of next week is fine, temperatures normal, and then it gets cold.